Okay, so if you've been living life on a beta for some time like I've been doing now, then you probably know what's going on today. We have a new macOS update and today it's 11.3 beta 7 that we're talking about today. So in case you've been busy, let's head over on to the Apple developer website and I want to show you some updates that Apple released yesterday. As you can see, we had iOS 14.5 beta 7 iPad OS 14.5 beta 7, watch OS 14.4 beta 7, and TV OS 14.5 beta 7. All these updates came out to developers and to public beta testers. And today for macOS Pixel 11.3 that we're talking about today, it's also available now even to public beta testers. So irregardless of the profile you have, this is an update that you can update to over the air now for me on my 2016 15 inch mbp that you see here the update size was actually fairly small it came in at around 2.4 gig and i'm updating from 11.3 beta 6 it could be different if you have a different mark and are coming from a different version and if we go to the about this mark section we just want to see the build number that came with this update and as you can see here the build number that we have with beta 7 is 20E5229A. This is the third consecutive update that has an A at the end when it comes to 11.3 pixels. So Apple has had more than enough time to work on issues, bugs, and stability improvements for this update because A usually means that, you know, it's the best stable beta that you're going to get other than the GM or the release candidate. So that's what we have here and just in case you're curious coming from beta 6 if you take the build number that we had on beta 6 and you increment it by 5 you come up with the build number that we have today on beta 7 just thought i should put it out there i don't know if this has any major significance and if we go to see how much system is taken up you can see that with this mark os pixel 11.3 beta 7 system is taken up exactly the same that it was on beta 6 which is is 16.4 gigs so that is exactly the same no change in that aspect and now let's go on to the portion that most people like and enjoy which is the new features and changes that came with macOS pixel 11.3 beta 7 the first one that i have to mention and that i notice when you open maps for the first time and even after that you actually be able to see nearby places and on top of the list you can see that priorities have sort of been arranged as long as you click into the search portion there you will see find nearby and the top one is COVID-19 testing centers. For me, if I click there right there, you can see the centers that we have close by when it comes to COVID-19 testing centers. And if you look on the top corner there of the search results, you can see that we have about 30 search results or centers that I can basically go to that are close by and I noticed that it actually crosses the border as you can see this is the uh, US Canada border and I'm seeing this one that's at St. Joseph in the States I believe this is Seattle so that is something that is new with macOS Pixel Beta 7 that I noticed. So as long as you click on search right there you notice COVID-19 testing comes right there on top. The second thing that I would like to mention that has been updated at least with this beta and in my region has to do with Siri and WWDC. So just to refresh your memory on beta 6 this is what was basically going on. Siri will be able to actually give you um, the correct date that is going to be WWDC 2021 June 7th to June 11th but for me for some reason I keep getting the prompt for 2020 so this is something that you can try and see if your region has been updated but now with beta 7 if we ask siri when wwdc is going to take place we get the updated version for 2021 so let's go ahead and try that when is wwdc apple's 2021 worldwide developers conference will be held online starting june 7th you can get all the details at apple.com Okay, so as you can see now, 
we have updated dates which are June 7th to 11th for 2021 version of WWDC. So finally, this has been updated and this is something that you can check out if you update and also if your region has been updated. It sort of was updated in series. It started with the US, UK, and then Canada, and then I believe Europe and so on. So keep in mind that you might not see it right away, but with time, it could be updated. Now, the next thing that I would like to highlight has to do with the Find My application on your Apple devices, including the Mac. Apple has decided to share the Find My network and make it available to everyone, including third-party companies and manufacturers that want to make devices that will be tracked on the Find My network. So if you go to the Find My application and click where it says more, you'll be able to get more information on this and you can see the various things that you can track. So if Belkin comes out with a bicycle, you can actually track the bike as long as it's added onto Apple's Find My Network. And it says that devices in the Find My Network use secure Bluetooth technology to detect missing items nearby and report their proximity location back to you and you can find them. So this is how it works. It's good to see that Apple is not limiting this Find My Network to just Apple devices, but also extending this to third party manufacturers and companies. But there's also some sort of business or commercial idea towards this cause. For example, if you wanna track like a jacket that wasn't made by Apple or a bike that's made by some third party company that is on the Find My Network, then obviously you need an Apple device that host or supports that find my network so with that apple i believe will be able to make more sales as more companies come on to this find my network which is already strong even to begin with so that's also something that you can check out basically those are the new features and changes that i managed to find and now let's go on to the unfortunate the bugs and issues that are here with macOS pixel 11.3 beta 7. the first one that i have to mention has to do with adding and removing contacts so some users are having difficulties when it comes to doing that and the second bug has to do with the external monitor waking up so i believe for certain m1 macbooks um, this is still an issue at this time we've had this for some time alongside that some users are also reporting bluetooth connectivity when it comes to this update for this one i had to go into different forums to find it and i don't know if it's related to the last bug which i'm about to mention and that has to do with the home pod stereo pay so someone on twitter gave me feedback that it's not yet working as smooth as it's supposed to be and they're having some time difficulties doing the home port stereo pair connection so could be related to the bluetooth issue but at this time it's still yet to be determined so those are the issues and bugs that are here when it comes to the release date for macOS pixel 11.3 i believe last year 10.15.4 was released on march 24th so right now it's april 8th Th this update is a little bit late and behind schedule so apple has had more than enough time to work on this but again i always say this that it's better to have something that's uh, safe than something that's full of bugs and new features and fancy changes so it's better that you know it's actually like a good thing that apple is taking their time to work on these beta updates and so when it comes to when we could possibly see the official release of macOS Pixel 11.3, today being April 8th, I really think that on the week of the 11th, we'll get another beta, which won't be beta 8 because it's not something that's usual of Apple to release all the way up to beta 8. And so on the week of the 11th, we could be getting a release candidate. And then after that, on the week of the 17th, we most probably could get the official version of macOS Pixel 11.3. If not, and there's going to be some sort of April Apple event, then in the next two weeks, we could have the actual date and that's going to determine when macOS Pixel 11.3 is going to be released. That's sort of a rough estimation. And just as you saw from Siri, when it comes to WWDC 21, it's this year and we are anticipating to get macOS 12, Apple's next big 
biggest macOS update. I will be covering that as soon as it comes out from the first beta all the way to the official release. So if you're excited for that, hit the like button and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on any of Apple's next macOS 12 content. And other than that, this is what's going on on my Mac when it comes to macOS Pixel 11.3. I'll be doing more research and also digging more into the OS to see if there are any new issues or any new features that I can come up with and also when it comes to battery those I'll cover in perhaps a follow-up video which I will do in about two to three days now other than that that's about it for me stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace